What's the best avocado? Flavor's only the start. It's only one factor if you think about it. Here's a bunch of avocados. Well, a handful or so. And uh, makes you think of all the different characteristics that avocados can have and what might make the best one for you or for someone else. You've got size. Here's a, a little itty bitty hass. Do you want a small avocado like that? Like a Mexicola? Or do you want a big monster like a queen? Do you want to be able to tell easily when it's ripe? Here's a, a thin-skinned bacon. You can easily tell when bacons are ripe. Um, something like a Nabal or a reed, or especially a Nabal. Hard to tell when it's ripe. I know this is ripe for sure because the skin is so thin that I can tell. Then you get to the inside of an avocado and this is a bacon again. So look at the flesh color. Bacons are always a little bit on the pale side, not so much green. And uh, maybe you don't mind, maybe you don't care. But maybe you want something with more color. A lamb has a lot of green. That's really nice. You also notice with the bacon that it has a big seed. Well, that's less avocado to eat. But it's a pretty big avocado, so you get enough. Cut open another kind. Uh, take a Pinkerton, for example. Small seed, such a small seed. This is a Charwell. They also have really small seeds. Let's cut this one open. You uh, get more for your money, so to speak, from a Charwell than a bacon. So that's nice. Some avocados um, have strings, fibers. You know what I'm talking about? I hate those. <laughs> it can make an otherwise good avocado just such a disappointment. So here's a... Here's an old Mexican type avocado called a Puebla. It's got great flavor. It really does. It's got good color too. Um, big seed, not so great. But it's always got some amount of stringiness up there at the stem end. Charwills are never as stringy as these types. Bacons can be a little bit, bacons can be a little bit stringy, but they're usually not so bad. Hass? No, you should never have many fibers with a hass. Uh, Pinkerton also really never has many strings. So that's nice. How do you like to eat your avocado? Do you like to um, scoop it? Because if you want to scoop, then a bacon is, is a little bit annoying since the... Um, Skin is so thin. If you're careful, you can scoop it. If you're not so careful, look at that translucent skin right there. Your, your, your uh, spoon is going to go right through that thin skin. On the other hand, you can scoop super fast, super easily, something like a Charwell with a thicker peel. You don't have to be gentle, tedious with scooping a Charwell or a Hass. Actually, Puebla, it has a thin skin, but it's super pliable, and so um, they're, even though the skin is thin, it's easy to scoop. They also peel. Maybe you prefer to peel your avocados, make nice little segments for a salad or something. Some peel better than others, that's for sure. Puebla's peel. And uh, Charwell's definitely peel. Hass peels. 
but some don't peel so well. You ever tried to peel a Jan Boyce? Jan Boyce avocados taste great, but you'll never peel one. You have to chip the peel off. It's like chiseling. And um, finally, in terms of actually eating, uh, so this is a West Indian type avocado. You open one of these, and um, compare one of these to like a, a Puebla, like a Mexican type, or a Charwill, and um, you've got distinctly different flavors. These West Indians are actually, um, they're a little bit similar to bacon in that they've got a, a, a kind of a wateriness and a sweetness to them. Some people love that. Some people like uh, less water, more oil, a denser texture, more like this uh, Charwill. Or like a hash. There's lots of other varieties like that. The texture's a bit, maybe a bit finer with the West Indian type. But you certainly get a lot more oil, nuttiness um, with, with other types of avocados. So what do you want? You know, my, my point is just that there's no perfect avocado. There's no objectively best avocado. Um, some are better than others for sure, but it depends on what characteristics you're looking for. And if you think about it for a couple minutes, there's so many characteristics to consider. Uh, so um, consider them. <laughs>